All right, hi everybody. Last one of the week. Uh, Pattern-collections.com is where you want to go. Uh, pattern focus is where we want to find today's pattern. And today is the last one, which is Cadent Reborn by Ina Sonamoser. Now, um, Cadent is one of my favorite um, patterns. And if you are not aware of how Cadent is drawn, um, then you wouldn't understand this Cadent Reborn and how it's different. It looks very similar when it's finished, but you draw it differently. And she found that this is an easier way for her, at least I believe that's what it was when, when she uh, posted this information, than the other way. So let me, let me just look at this one. You can come up and make a loop. And then on this side of the loop, you're going to come up and then make that loop again. And so forth and so on. Keep building. And then you're going to make rows of them. And then when you're all finished with your rows, you're going to come back through and just make this little S shape right there and you'll be done. Fill in those little loops. Right? Um... But if you don't know how Cadent is drawn, you wouldn't know that that's different. Why is that not focusing? So I'm going to turn on my light and I'm going to do a quick, not finished tile of the other of regular Cadent. Regular Cadent you would draw with a circle grid. Now these are going to be kind of sloppy because I'm doing it quick. I'm not being mindful with my circles. That's for darn sure. They're all over the place here. Okay. And then you would draw this kind of an S shape. I always do mine this way and everybody says it's backwards. So I draw them backwards. Whatever. I always just draw this S. Okay, and then I turn my tile and I draw this S the other way. Like that. That's cadent. I find it really fast, easy, just I, I really enjoy this pattern and it's one of those patterns when you draw it for somebody who says they can't draw, it just magically appears and it's so pretty. The other thing I like to do with Cadent is to do it over here like this, it crossed into a triangle. I think that just really does something to it. I don't know. really like it like that. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this pattern. Cadent Reborn is more organic looking, I think. So let's give it a, a space to live in. I'm going to make myself a little border and I'm going to make a string. Um, um, going to give it like some place to live. And then I'm going to come up and you come up and you do that and then you come on this side of it and up and like that and this side of it and up and like that. Kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to try again over here. So I'm going to come up and like that. And then on this side I'm going to come up and like this. It's very 
fairly simple. Um, this would have just the top of that. And I guess for those who are having a tough time with that dot grid, um, you know, this is a little bit easier because it just kind of forms by itself. You just kind of keep your eye open where where this little loop is. Something like that. And then we need to do needs to come up here and down. So now we're gonna go from on top here to here. Around the top of there to there. Around the top of there to there. Around the top of here to here. So following the top of that curve like that. Oop, it's missing one. Okay. So that's similar. I mean, it's, it ends up with a similar look. Then you can fill these little guys in. So I don't know, kind of depends on how you like to draw a cadent. I have no troubles with it the other way. So now I need to see how I can play with this and do it some other way or, or what. What else can I do with this? I play with scale, maybe. I did answer the door. Let's build a bob. He just had some paperwork for me and he wanted to uh, Wanted to ask me which color out of the multitude of colors I've slapped on the front of the house were the colors that we had decided on. I think I've gotten eight or nine little sample pots of colors. I think I'm just going to leave that as the focus of this particular tile. 
and maybe do something just wonder if I do this going the other way what would that do if I take that same shape go the other direction with it curious Well, that's what it would look like. That's interesting. I'm just going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to do that same thing this way. So for these are going that same direction. So that would just continue the pattern. Huh. That's not what I want to do. Um, Let me erase all my guidelines and see where I want to shade this puppy. I think we're done. Oh, but I like, I need to do something with those weird lines there. Hmm. They need to be incorporated in some manner. Think, 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 think. Take a minute to think. There we go. I gave him some ends. Wrong direction. Okay. I'm good with that. easy that made it super simple to do so you know if you're having troubles with Caden use this one because this method seems to be 
super super easy and then you can just uh, shade whichever way you want to shade it I'm trying to think how do I see it see it go along these lines Start with that. this direction. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in here with a little bit of white highlight and I'm just going to highlight the middle of these tiles just a little bit just to give them a little something. I love this highlighting on these colored tiles. These are just fill in all the spaces where I don't have the shading. I want that mid-tone, that peach tone to, to come through. So it's not just dark and light, but it's got that mid-tone in it. So I don't fill it all up and I just do a just light dusting. Ah, that's so pretty. Love that so much. All right, you guys have a really great day. Have a great week weekend. Uh, I'll see you next week. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make our world a better place. And um, I will see you later. Bye-bye.